Do you want to learn how to make rich and buttery brioche by hand? Because we're baking it right now. Welcome back to the baker's journey. If you want to learn how to bake and you want to truly master the art of baking, then you came to the right place. And you can start by clicking subscribe, ringing that bell, so you don't miss anything. I really enjoy making brioche and I never actually made brioche by hand up until recently. And I ran into a few challenges when I was making brioche by hand my first couple tries. So I wanted to teach you guys a few techniques that I've learned to develop this dough so you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of different equipment. So the first technique is called an auto lease and we spoke about auto lease several times in our previous videos. So what an auto lease does and the concept behind an auto lease is that you're allowing your flour to fully hydrate. And by allowing the flour to fully hydrate, you're actually developing a structure and developing gluten early on in your dough's development. So the second technique is called frissage. And what a frissage is, is it's actually using the palm of your hand and firmly massaging butter into your dough. And this is gonna help by trying to get a, a mass amount of butter and fat into your dough when your dough's already developed. Because this can seem impossible to do without a stand mixer. So I wanna make sure that everybody's aware that it's not impossible and that we can get it done, but just by using our hands. And the third technique is called the French fold method or a slap and fold method. And what this French fold method is, is that it's a, it's a method used to develop higher hydration dose. And because of all the enrichment in your brioche dough, it's gonna be very, very loose and very hard to work with. And by using this slap and fold, we can develop structure on the late stages of our dough. So I just want to make you guys aware that there's a few types of window panes that we can look for when developing specific doughs. So there's the short mix window. And the short mix window is usually used on doughs that have longer fermentation times, such as like sourdoughs, uh, ciabatta breads, stuff like that. The second one is an improved mix window, and we've used that actually in our previous videos when making white bread and making uh, dinner buns and Scottish baths. And the third one, which we'll be using today, is called an intensive mix window. An intensive mix window should be very clear and very elastic, and it's going to give your, your brioche dough a very even and close and tight crop. So we're gonna walk you through our process of making brioche bread. Let's get into it.
So thanks again for tuning in to A Baker's Journey. It was a lot of fun today learning how to make brioche dough by hand and learning how to work with higher hydration doughs, learning window pane techniques, and learning three techniques that are gonna make this dough very simple to accomplish. In our next couple of videos, we're going to be learning how to make pre-ferments and natural sourdough starters. And it's gonna be a lot of fun learning how to make amazing bread and buns using a natural process. Also, if you want to get up-to-date notifications from The Baker's Journey, we do have an email subscription list and I'll leave the link in the description below. So if you like your content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything.